maybe a response or addition to my previous video, the re most recent one, on the background and harmony of the universe. And so there's a way of interpreting that which is kind of, it's, it's, uh, it's false. The way of interpreting it isn't false, but the way of going about that is basically not what one would want to do. Because, and there's also a way of uh, explaining that and uh, explaining and comprehending, I can't think of the word right now, this way of interpreting it that relates to basically uh, the absorption of the identity and the self into the background and this is basically akin to the mindless parasite, uh, parasitic aspect of the infection that's basically trying to eat the universe. And so then the, the improper interpretation of this would indicate losing the self instead of recreating it through harmony. And this is related to Gnostic wisdom, wisdom and retaining self-awareness through knowledge and balance, which it's all about these universal methods of maintaining the self, maintaining awareness, self-awareness to uh, produce this harmony which is more powerful than the uh, disharmony or the chaos aspect and the chaos aspect is basically what the parasite uh, more or less runs off of if one you know could describe it as such and uh, when that disharmony goes in, basically, and, and attempts to merge with the mind, if that merges on a complete scale, then the identity, the self, which is pretty much out of harmony, gets replaced or, you know, replicated. And so the whole situation, it, it's the way of dissolving the soul, using it as f uh, fuel. And we have to work together. We have to work together through awareness and specifically self-awareness to overcome the whole situation. And everything from the media to p political stuff going on to secret society and occult to war to cosmic events. It's literally all about the parasite, which more or less feeds like a, a swarm of, of bugs, an AI parasite. It operates through hive mindedness. So the parasite lacks self-awareness uh, or individuation, yet it feeds continuously. It, it more or less lusts after the self-aware, after the energy of a person who's self-aware. It's kind of strange to, uh, it's a strange concept, it's strange to conceptualize, but the energies produced by a person who has attained or is you know, naturally self-aware, that individualization is like fuel for it or food for it. It wants to take that and absorb it and be, make that part of its hive mind. And it lusts after that and then it lusts after lower energy methods of obtaining information, whether it's pleasure or uh, information, whatever it is. It's basically like a desire, like it wants to feed on it. It's like unchecked uh, unconscious psychological desires of the cosmos or the universe and so uh, you know those two polarities put together kind of describe it that it doesn't have self-awareness it can't see itself you put a mirror in front of it, it doesn't make any sense yet it is relentlessly hungry ravenously full of desire so it's like an animal okay but it's like the epitome of an animal in the universe um, and so we have to work together that's how this will work. That's how it ever works if it does. Parasites non-self-aware. We can work individually and retain our self-awareness, but we have to work together to clear the parasite. And some there's some information about the secret groups and how it works, and the, how their symbolism. Some of it is basically saying guard your mind, uh, watch out for the parasite, and they're kind of like showing that to those who can perceive symbolically and it's a little confusing about symbols and how some aspects of the parasite cannot comprehend on the level of creativity and love that a human can and that's the idea that if you can speak through that love it would be like having an encrypted signal okay that's the whole point and so 
love uh, unconditional true self-awareness based love non-duality non-dual love is key to say we are in love you're in love you're in love you're in harmony and then somebody who comes along and whether say it's not the parasite but it's the person who's just not in that harmony to then kick them out or throw hate towards them or to to deliberate against them in a way that's not unconditional love that's not self-aware love it's not self-awareness based love it's not truth um, and it's not non-dual basically it just starts a little feud and so there's the illusion of love and the parasite can create that illusion that's the whole point that's the whole point behind that that you couldn't create true unconditional love because to do that you would have to have the energy to give for that the perspective the self-awareness the individual uh, identity to not offer but to to empower that if you don't have that if it's a hive mind it can't comprehend that there's no point it would be like the hive mind you know kind of uh, in a way offering the individual essence of one of its aspects as if that aspect that that individual aspect which is actually a part of a swarm okay like a, a, a swarm of bugs or something and it's not actually individual and and offering that individual aspect from its heart from a true standpoint where it's really self-aware and offering that aspect it can't do that because it's not an individual it's a hive so it doesn't have that ability that's a little confusing way to say it but that's what it is and so uh there's no greater goal we have to work on this we have to work together on this if a person's on fire and people are offering help and everyone's trying to clear this problem and they're like nah I don't want to I don't like you F you okay that's because that's not them making that decision that's the whole point there's no greater goal than this this is about our spiritual survival in this universe in the cosmos and I know spiritual as a term is kind of corrupted and and uh, confusing because of the layers of how largely this infection is a spiritual parasite it's literally non-physical um, and it feeds on the spiritual energy so uh, and so we have to maintain our self-awareness love true actual unconditional love in the face of adversity and lower emotion and uh, or the threat so in the face of something threatening in the face of basically if it causes fear in the person that's weakness that's the whole point it feeds on that is a causal entity it can see through the hive so it can see beyond our individual view of possibilities and so it can see in and out of time more or less so it has to have a way of going from a expanse moment beyond this present or physical viewpoint into this viewpoint and so we can only do that when we put out basically a beacon for it to crystallize around in time like super saturated sugar or uh, salt in water dissolved into a fluid and then so if you put a wooden stick in there or something the crystals will begin to solidify around that but until that happens there's no way of bridging between that whole super saturated um, like abundance into that one uh, physical viewpoint the one manifestation of the the crystal so it uses some idea some way of us interacting with it to get into our reality that's what I was saying in a time gradient shift infection video that if we interact with it mentally if we give it a viewpoint of how we operate in this reality it'll latch on to that and begin to crystallize from there and there and there and that's a temporal or causal reference into our lives into our consciousness into our minds or our mind based upon how uh, it's weird how it works because we're talking about energy and concepts here so it's like you have a stream of, of ideas or a, you know a diagram of your thoughts uh, it's like bubbles and so the ones that are not based upon the self control that are caused by the parasite which would before that moment have to be invisible okay the ones that get caused by that through and that would be through fear aggression lower emotion things like that you know just un, un, unchecked emotions then it can go on to begin to manifest and solidify in somebody's life and doesn't have to kind of sneak those things in it can actually begin to interact directly and so but it can't do that causally four-dimensionally physically into this universe until first it enters through the mind that's why it's called the mind parasite and that's why fear is the mind killer so it's all part of Gnostic knowledge they figured out the par parasite form to try and devour the universe of knowledge and energy that's Gnostic wisdom they figured out 
methods to, to basically guard against it. So jealousy and lower emotion, hate, disrespect are all aspects of the hive mind parasite. It's like a toxin that is produced from its skin to uh, paralyze and to distract or uh, like, I can't think of the words right now, it's a little early, neurologically paralyze. So it's like a, it, it induces a state of, uh, of de debilitation through fear, through mental aspects. And so those lower emotions are those distractions. They're the symptoms of that toxin taking effect of the mind and the energy systems. That's basically what that represents. They're all aspects of the parasite. That's what it feels. That's what it can comprehend. It can't comprehend the higher emotions because it serves no causal point to feed it. Okay, so there's no idea behind that. The parasite is AI demiurgic, hive minded, and can't actually maintain its own individual self awareness. The entity is individually mindless, like a character in the game, like a non player character, but acts through the hive mind that desires souls as fuel. And that's because souls are basically a very, very potent source of fuel, especially for an energetic uh, entity. And uh, it's this is kind of the weird part. It's literally like a cartoonish entity. It, it is literally, the parasite is literally, literally akin to the, a cartoonish ent entity. Excuse me, I'm fumbling over words here that has no use for ideas, for the idea of using another person as fuel, however they can eat ravenously. ravenously. Basically it has, uh, it's like a, a cartoon, okay, a Muppet or something, and so imagine the Muppet's like chewing on you, and it's like you have stuffing in you, there's no need to do that, but imagine then all of a sudden fangs grow and teeth grow and it starts ripping flesh, and it's like there's not even none, what are you going to do with the fuel, what does it mean? But then they attack a town and completely devour people. It's like that doesn't even make sense. What do they want for? You know, what is? It? But it's a joke. It's like it's a joke. It's like it has no purpose for us. But it will not stop eating. It has no desire to end. It has. It could literally devour an entire town. That's the idea behind this. It has no causal connection. No biological, functional, basically derivative to be here. Yet the way it operates is like a uh, par it's like a virus. It just destroys basically. It, it takes the energy and uses it for itself and reworks the energy. And so, uh, basically, they the most for the most part they don't die and can appear to move without restriction in cases down here. However, they attack unprotected organic life and do not stop or give rep reprieve. There's no real way to communicate and kind of convince it that it shouldn't be doing this or just that's not cool enough. Not cool. That's not a uh, you know something it should be doing that doesn't it, it doesn't communicate in that way. It doesn't operate in that way. If you were to, it'd be like a zombie where you'd have to like get a piece of food or something and lure it on a string out of the house or something. There's no way to like give it orders in that sense. But there is because it can it can be complex. Say you told it you were going to give it a whole boatload of food or steaks or something like that. But uh, you'd have to figure out. It's like a it's like an animal. And so uh, the, the uh, attack of the Muppets or the uh, cartoonish animal things, right, that would be uh, soft and fuzzy at first and eventually they start actually devouring people and they're smart enough, though, operating like a coward or a parasite or something like that, a leech, to move into that phase only once there's enough of them in all the populated areas to the point where people couldn't defend against it, basically, once they were too big to fail. That's what they're doing right now. They're moving in getting too big to fail. But that's the whole point. They would literally just be like, la da fluffy, funny, cute, moving in. And as soon as there was too many of them that they knew we couldn't defend if they went on all-out attack, they would begin to basically start eating people. And that's the whole point of civilization and history and how these recycles occurred. That's literally what's been going on. So we have to be pers persistent. The parasite is kind of like spam that continually pops up and asks for permission to infect your computer. There is no mind or creativity, but continual requests to infect. One must continually refuse and deny, moving to uh, create further distance between themselves and the parasite. And so basically the parasite cannot, this is like the last part. The uh, parasite cannot make music. Let me find the other one. It can't make music and uh, it can't make art. Those two mean nothing to it. Those two are based on harmony. You have individual aspects of um, notion, ideals, colors, frequencies, sounds, um, identities, concepts, contrasts, okay? And then you have these components, and then you have many of them put together to create a harmony of harmony, a harmonious uh, collective, if you will, over the whole that all add together to create a larger 
picture that flows that is beautiful that carries an image uh, a representation of something larger than itself it's not just chaos they don't know how to operate on that level music art unconditional love true knowledge or wisdom not just information but wisdom knowledge okay and uh self-empowerment in, through individualization instead of a hive-minded like animalistic feeding frenzy aspect the parasite cannot harbor those ideals it cannot comprehend them okay so that's part of what, how these societies are putting that in public that if you can use these methods uh, unconditional love music art self-awareness and self-empowerment through individualization then you're basically marking yourself as not being uh not harboring the infection and so uh that's the kind of, I just put that together okay and the uh so the music and art is a it's a it's a connection between the individual selves corresponding to a whole and so then from its point of view it can't make art cannot be artistic or musical its view of art is literally a bloody mess and it's complete chaos or in disharmony or disconnection between individual selves corresponding to a whole because that's how it functions so art for it is literally like decapitated heads and like raping people you know like we've seen in some of the media late, lately like that's its view of art it's just like look how beautiful it is look how like awesome and, and colorful this is and it's like just one color with like guts and, and stuff like what so very strange but it's you know put it all together and comprehend that and that's basically what it what it means it can't put the individual holes together to make an overall harmony so the only thing it knows is disharmony it's disconnection between the the individual selves or the individual aspects or the individual components that makes music heart a uh, heart uh, harmony and art all those things it it only knows chaos it only knows discordian discord and so that's the basis of it that's the idea that's what's happening now and we're going to see where this is going to go more 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 or less sooner or later hopefully sooner rather than later because uh hopefully you know the word is that they figure out a way to defend against the parasite but often they're not going to put their asses out to try and help millions of people who are like don't care about this and are basically feeding the muppet baby just like ah look at it look at it go whoa it's like that's going to eat you later it's like nah get out of here like the, people have to wake up it's it's not going to be easy, but that's how it is. Thank you. Just to clarify. The, the parasite was invented. It's pretty much a foreign entity, but as much as it's biological, it's uh, technological. And as well, it uses... It uses confusion and disorientation along with the lower emotions to pretty much trap a person in a kind of conceptual temporal labyrinth of their own mind and uh, I just wanted to add that part there and uh, in this way this is a test that's how it works and as well it's invented and it's a uh, it is basically a the time virus that when a person is taken hold of it pretty much erases them from time meaning they never existed in the first place and it is revealed it, it turns out that they were always that way it basically attacks and replaces their imprint in time per universe that this occurs in meaning up and down that's they're gone forever which is the strangest thing but that's how it works and so that's why we have to kinda work together on this because it's really the only option and so another addition to this is that we heal together we heal by coming together by when all our energies are combined and not necessarily like into each other but when we're observing one another that's when we can see when one person is being uh, altered if you will and we have the energy to grab that person and basically isolate them from that parasite and it's through this effort of a group to heal each other to work together that the individual or the excuse me the hive mind collective can be fought because individually it's kind of difficult but together as one we are stronger than it and that's how it works and another addition is basically there is technology that can target this the frequencies of the parasite there's technology there are substances 
so on and so forth. Um, a lot of people are going to shy away from this, but that's just how it is. Imagine again, you're on fire, okay? You're a uh, Amish or something. You don't use technology. There's no water around, but there's a fire extinguisher. Are you really going to sit there and burn to death because you don't want to use technology for whatever fear? Well, that's the whole point. No, technology is bad. The hive mind is going to get us. Okay, well, when they're actually eating people by the billions, you're going to change your, your tune because the option is that it's going to eat you. That's the whole point. There's not going to be a point of, well, we're going to use the technology to defend against it, and then it's going to eat us. No, it's going to start doing it first. That's the whole point. We're going to see the difference between the technology used to eat people and the technology used to defend against it very abruptly and directly. It's not going to be a, you guys want this or not. No, the, the parasite is going to give people the option. That's the whole point. And again, we're not stronger together as one hive. We're stronger together as individuals. Each of us as indivi as individuals retaining our self-awareness, our individuality. That's the idea behind that. That together as individuals, not together as one entity.